A lot of what we see on the big screen is created with computers and green screens, but some scenes are still filmed in real places, and occasionally, once the movie is done filming, those sets are just left behind to be reclaimed by nature. Here are some eerie abandoned movie sets you didn't know still exist. Big Fish Daniel Wallace's novel Big Fish is set in the fictional Alabama town of Spectre. When Tim Burton adapted the movie for the screen in 2003, Cruz built a real Spectre, complete with a church, storefronts, and houses. And it's still there, minus a few buildings that are collapsing or have burned down. Fans of Big Fish can still visit Spectre, which is housed on a private island outside of Montgomery, Alabama, by paying a $3 toll. That's one big fish for a pretty small fee. Ba -bum the Fugitive a standout scene from this 1993 Oscar-nominated Harrison Ford thriller takes place when a prison bus collides with a train. Richard Kimball escapes the wreckage to become, well, you know. The Fugitive Anyway, that crash wasn't CGI. The crew really did slam a train on a disused portion of the Great Smoky Mountain Railroad in North Carolina. It cost $1.5 million to stage, and they only had one take to get it right. Rather than clean it up, the fugitive crew just left the train and bus debris behind, where it's rusted over time. It's quite visible on many train excursions in the area. Not only that, it's probably the only place you should have this conversation. I didn't kill my wife! I don't care! Star Wars some of the most recognizable set pieces from the first Star Wars movie still stand. 40 years after filming started, standing in for Luke Skywalker's desert home planet of Tatooine were the deserts of Tunisia, and on that terrain sit many instantly recognizable Star Wars buildings, including Luke Skywalker's house, parts of Mos Espa, and a bunch of other buildings that blend in nicely with the desert. Just watch out for all the sand. I don't like sand. Gone Girl one of the creepier scenes in Gone Girl shows police visiting an abandoned Missouri mall that has been taken over by criminals and transients. The real mall used in Gone Girl, though, is actually the former Hawthorne Plaza Mall in the Los Angeles suburb of Hawthorne. Since shutting down in the 90s, the mall has been used quite a few times in big-budget Hollywood movies, including Minority Report and Evolution. And yes, that's how you pronounce it in England. Remember Evolution? If you don't, please enjoy this representative sample. The Hunger Games About a century ago, Henry River Mill Village in North Carolina was a textile hub, but when those jobs started to fade away, it turned into a ghost town. That made it an ideal shooting location for the economically depressed District 12 in the Hunger Games movies. Being featured in one of the most popular film series of all time has injected new interest and cash into Henry River Mill Village. Now, Hunger Games fans can go there and take a tour of Katniss Everdeen's hometown. Just make sure you get there before it's too late. There is no District 12. It's all gone. Iron Man In the crucial opening scenes of the first Marvel Cinematic Universe entry, Tony Stark is captured in Afghanistan and imprisoned in a desert cave by a terrorist cell. The real-life cave where this sequence was shot isn't actually in Afghanistan, though. Instead, the crews made their way to an abandoned mine shaft in Cerro Gordo Mines in California. Pretty cool that it wouldn't take much to visit the set where Marvel movie history was born. I am Iron Man. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know which movie set you'd like to visit.